Hi Girl Scouts! My name is Betsy Nichols. I'm a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the Brownie Think Like an Engineer Challenge. Today I will be guiding you through the first design challenge in the series, which is building a helping hand. Have you ever been in a situation where you needed to reach something and you were just too short to get there? Well, I know I have. I stand at five feet tall. So today we are going to be building a device that will help us reach items in tall places. But first, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great! So, like I said before, we are going to be making a device that we can use to reach tall objects that we normally couldn't. So um, we need to figure out what we're going to build these object, these uh, reaching devices out of. So some suggestions for things that you could build these reaching devices out of. Uh, you could get some paint stirs or thin slats of wood or thin um, pieces of cardboard. You could take some cardboard together, um, brass fasteners or short pieces of wire tape, um, scissors, rubber bands or elastics, uh, string, paper or plastic cups, toothpicks, wooden skewers, and a paper and pencil for your designing. So I'm going to round up what I can find around the house and I want you to do the same. And just make sure that before you take anything that you have permission to use it. And just remember that the list that I just read from is only a suggestion. I know that I don't have all of this laying around my house and I don't expect you to have it either. What we are doing right now is the creative process and we are going to use our imagination to make what we have available to us work for us. So I'm going to round up some, some, some supplies and you should do the same too. Okay, I am back. I am in my kitchen where I have placed a empty box of Girl Scout cookies up high on my cabinets. I cannot reach them so we are going to get that down and I'm going to get it down with my team of supplies. So I have empty grocery bags. I have some washi tape. I have colored pencils. I have scissors. I have tiny little hair ties, tiny little hair ties, some big hair ties, and then my big find is my hair straightener, which I have left unplugged, but I'm thinking these will be some great tongs for the grabbing portion. So I am going to build my helping hand reaching device. Um, why don't you take a moment to construct yours and we will meet back when we are done. Okay, so I am back with my completed reaching device. This is what it looks like. I taped some colored pencils together uh, just to give them more support, some more strength. So I did um, six groups of two, so three groups on each side just to extend it and give it um, a little bit more reach. Then I taped those together and taped those together so they're kind of staggered like that. And then I taped the whole, um, branch of colored pencils to the ends of the um, of the hair straightener and then I don't know if you can see it but I do have some rubber bands some tiny rubber bands on the um, pencils as well just to add some reinforcement so let's see how this works
I wasn't very happy with how things were going. So I made an adjustment to my reaching device and I added a bag to the um, colored pencils to try to catch the um, box on its way down. So I'm gonna give that a try now and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's recap what we just did. We were challenged to design a reaching device that would grab something off of a shelf. We had to gather the supplies that we needed to build it. We had to design our reaching device, build it, and then put it to the test. If your experience was anything like mine, you probably had to do a couple different tests before you got yours to work, and that's okay. Um, I hope you saw that I had to make some changes to my reaching device. Um, at first, I didn't have the bag on the at the end of the tongs, and I realized that while I was trying to pull the box down, it kept falling, and I didn't want that to happen, so I added that grocery bag to catch it if it started to fall, and I really liked how that turned out. So, what I did there was I felt like an engineer. Engineers are people with big imaginations who think who they they look at a problem and they think about how they can solve it and they think about what materials that they have um, to solve the problem and then they keep trying over and over again until they're happy with the results and that's what we did today so we are going to continue to think like engineers for the next three weeks as we go through this journey together and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to uh, work with you on this today. And let's end with the uh, Make New Friends song. And then we'll do a little um, friendship circle to end things out. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Good night, Girl Scouts.